All right, so I'm in the Gallatin Canyon next to the Gallatin River on the 191 highway that goes from Bozeman to Big Sky. And I'm out here to explore this slightly radioactive climbing spot. This is a pretty well-known climbing spot for locals. You'll probably see some climbers today. But I came out here to see how radioactive it is in this area. I know that there is a uranium deposit, or at least a claim, on the other side of this hill. So it stands to reason that somewhere around here, there's also some hot rocks. And uh, the background radiation I'm getting here is around 100, 130 counts per minute. Usually background radiation is around 35 counts per minute here in Montana. So it's a little radioactive, but nothing to ever be worried about, but interesting to know. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. All right, let's keep going. up on this hill and yeah I'm getting around like 105 97 counts per minute I'm just gonna ditch the gimbal for a little bit and just handhold this but yeah naturally radioactive areas like this are all over the place you just have to know where to look and uh, like I said before it isn't harmful it's just uh, geology, part of nature. But uh, yeah, levels here are around three to four times above background radiation, which like I said, isn't that bad. That is a pretty cool place to explore too. Yeah, but it's not like obviously radioactive in certain areas, it's like, different hot spots everywhere. Nothing bad though. Uh, I just want to sit down here for a second. Huh. It's quite a climb up here. But uh, as I was saying, this is a popular climbing location for locals here in the Bozeman and Big Sky area. So a lot of people come and visit this area and I'm pretty sure none of them realize that this place is just a little bit more radioactive than normal. And I don't think it would have <laughs> any type of health effects, even if you were to eat these rocks and whatever, because the radiation is so dispersed and low that it's not really a problem. But I thought it would be interesting to share it because it's something to remind us that we do live in a radioactive world on a radioactive planet in a sea of radiation coming from space. It's interesting being out here in a spot that you wouldn't think of as being more radioactive than normal. Just to kind of put things into perspective for people, just so you can kind of better understand what's going on. But uh, anyway, let's go up the trail a little further and uh, try not to wear myself out too much. This is a really steep trail, but it, man, it's awesome. I love Montana. All right. Let's get going. Hey. Oh, the 
looks like there's a cave up there. I think I'll check that out. Be interesting if there's something radioactive here. But so far it's just showing background. So that might mean all the radioactive rocks are further down that way towards the beginning of the trail. But uh, let's see what's up here. need both hands for this one. So it looks like we're gonna go around up here. It looks like there's a little trail. Might be a little easier than scrambling up those rocks. So let's go. <laughs> There's a little ledge going out to that right there. A little bit of a drop down. I do not think I'm going to be able to get in there from here. It's not exactly place I'd want to fall from. So I think I'll go back down because I don't think I'd be able to get around here safely, especially carrying a camera. It's just too sketchy to be by myself. Still a cool location. I'll have to maybe bring the drone up here and fly it up so at least I can look inside. So that was a look at Gallatin Canyon, this climbing area, I believe it's called Gallatin Towers. Uh, it's between uh, Big Sky and Bozeman on the 191 Highway in Montana. Uh, you just pull off the side of the road and check it out yourself. Uh, it's an interesting area that's naturally radioactive if you're into exploring areas like that or climbing. It's got some pretty good climbing here too. Now this area is just naturally radioactive. Uh, people did not make this radioactive. It wasn't made radioactive through nuclear testing or nuclear waste or mining or anything like that. It's just naturally occurring. And so it's just how this area is and how a lot of areas are. And I hope you learned something new about this and got to see a beautiful place in Montana. And hopefully you uh, come to visit it because it's pretty cool to check out. Uh, it's a bit of a hike to get up here, up to this like little uh, cave and I wouldn't really suggest anyone going up there because uh, it's a bit of a scramble I'm sure there are far more capable people than me that can make it up there very easily But uh, since I'm out here by myself, I don't really want to take that chance of uh, falling uh, You know 20 or so feet off of that cliff So that's why I didn't do it and that's why the drone went up there So if you like this video like subscribe and if you have any suggestions of places that you want to see me go or explore or something like that uh, please uh, leave a comment and let me know. I'm always kind of curious to see what people are into and what they would like to see. I have a whole list of places I want to go to and ideas of things I want to make, but I'm always curious of, uh, you know, things that I, have, I haven't thought of uh, because I am by far <laughs> no expert on this subject and I am still learning myself. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.